Okay, hey guys, so this is my step to posse vlog and this is like three weeks after my surgery that I am talking to y'all. I wanted to preface this video by I am chronically ill. I have POTS, fibromyalgia, chronic migraines, um, gastroparesis, good grief, I can't even remember today. I'm having a brain fog day. So I am a pretty sick person in general. I mean, I'm chronically ill. So my septoplasty story experience is a good bit different than a regular person. So when I am doing this video, I'm not trying to scare y'all. This is how it turned out for me. Mine was, um, I don't see the like worst case scenario, but it definitely was not best case scenario. So just keep that in mind that I am chronically ill when you're watching this. And if you're chronically ill, you might find this video more helpful than the average person. Anyway, so with that saying, let's go ahead and get into the vlog. Okay, just got done with my pre-op appointment. Basically, they just went over a bunch of paperwork and the pre-op or like pre-surgery, whatever stuff. And basically told me like not to eat what medicines I can take in the morning and then I got blood work done uh, to make sure that I'm not pregnant which I know I'm not but they have to be sure so yeah but not too much too much to it I also had to bring my inhaler on the morning of surgery but that, that was basically it pretty easy it did take a while though we we're there for like an hour okay so a little update my surgery is tomorrow at 12 30 unfortunately they were doing um, night not night time afternoon surgeries so that's not fun I'm gonna be very hungry because probably I won't be able to go until like actually get into surgery till 2 but that's the plan what I've done to prep for it is I got some saline spray for my nose I cleaned up my room and changed my bed sheets and stuff like that so I don't have to worry about anything tomorrow but yeah so that is the plan I'm going to sleep soon because it's like 11 o'clock at night and I'm gonna try to sleep in as long as possible Okay, so it's the morning of surgery. I am starving and thirsty. We can't eat or drink. And now I'm about to put on my hair because for whatever reason, you can't have wet hair. And you also can't have any lotions on. My face is so dry. Um, but you can't have deodorant, so that's good. But anyways, about to get ready. And then we're gonna head out and go get the surgery done. Okay, so here's the outfit we're going with. Sweatshirt. Sweatpants and fuzzy, fuzzy shoes. Back home now. I know I'm in the dark. I'm in my room. Um, I'm having some bleeding, and they didn't give me a nasal drip thing, so that was not great. But. Um, I'm doing okay. I'm having really bad pressure right here and up in my head and in my teeth, but they're not numb. I tried to eat some soup, made me sick, made me nauseous, so couldn't do that. But anyways, my nose is swollen and so is my lip, but past that I'm doing okay, but the pressure is pretty bad, so that's not fun. So I'm currently in the ER. I have really bad eye pots and my heart rate will stop messing up. It was way too high when I was laying down. So we came to the ER because they told us to. So we'll see how that goes. And I've also been having some bleeding. So we're going to ask them about that. So last night I had to go to the ER. Um, if you're new here, I have pots. I don't know. I'm sure a lot of these are, y'all are going to be new subscribers, but I have pots. And Suddenly my heart rate was 150 while I was laying down, so I had to go to the ER and I stayed there from like 10.30 p.m. to 5.30 a.m. and it was awful and all they did was give me two bags of fluids and sent me home. So that was rough. I was in so much pain. They did give me some hydrocodone while I was there uh, because I was in that much pain in my face. I'm in so much pain today and I'm tired. My face is also swollen. They told me I would not have any facial swelling, but I definitely do. And I have a cough, like a really weird, like, groupy cough. And my throat still hurts. I'm still eating liquids, but I think it's because I didn't get to rest any last night until, like, 6 a.m. So I think that's part of the problem. 
but that's a little update last time I also got a surgery I got tonsillectomy and I ended up in the ER it's just kind of my thing and it's my birthday so I spent the first five and a half hours of my birthday in the ER but I'm 23 so fun way to spend it but anyways that's kind of the update and it's very hard to breathe <sighs> um my nose is totally stuffed up I told my parents it feels like if you were to have a really bad cold but you can't blow your nose that's what it feels like my voice is super weird don't know what's going on with that maybe I'm just tired I sound like I'm about to cry I'm not <laughs> but anyways so yeah that's like a little update for my what's going on for day two I will continue on to keep you all updated I think the change in my voice also can be from the fact of just like the surgery my whole don't think I told you all this yesterday my entire nose bone on the right side was basically completely collapsed so I think my voice might be adjusting to actually being able to breathe through the right side of my nose but I'm not sure okay so it's been a few days since I filmed last and I literally look disgusting but bear with me it's Saturday now and I have had a rough time so first of all uh, yesterday morning and Thursday morning I passed out or almost passed out so that was not fun and then Thursday night slash like Friday morning I had severe pain like I was in so much pain all right here down my jaw in my teeth in my nose it felt like somebody punched me in the face so we called my doctor we're like hey I don't think this is right and they were like yeah it sounds like a little bit severe for like or really severe for being like three days post-op so we went in and now I have a sinus infection on top of trying to recover so I just feel awful they put me on antibiotics they gave me an antibiotic shot I they also changed my meds over to hydrocodone every four hours and a Benadryl and ibuprofen every six hours just to help with the pain because I'm in so much pain also like my neck is swollen my nose is swollen my cheeks are swollen and yeah so I'm trying to fight off an infection and recover so it's going really badly but anyways um the actual surgery went fine but now he said I could have caught it when I went to the ER the other night or there could have just been like a little bacteria like waiting for the perfect opportunity and when they did my nose it was the perfect opportunity we don't really know but anyways like I knew something was wrong I was in way too much pain and then also my throat hurt the first day but it was like scratchy from where they put the tube in and then that went away and then it came back and it was starting to hurt on the sides like where my lymph nodes are so I knew I knew something was wrong and we went and he was like yeah you have like a bunch of like infected drainage and stuff but my nose still looks good so that's that's kind of where we're at right now um I still want to do at the end of this vlog kind of like my experience and I'm still going to do like my post style all that but it's kind of taking a little bit of a turn so I am about three weeks or two and a half weeks post off now and I realized I never finished up this vlog I just really wasn't feeling well um even when I got the tubes taken out which was relatively easy they just literally snipped the little stitches and then pulled these tubes out I will say they were like this big though which was wild I didn't even know you could fit that much up in there but I kind of just want to do like a little recap this definitely wasn't a regular septoplasty like the pain that I was experiencing was a lot worse because I did end up with the sinus infection because they, they did tell me originally they were like you will have pain but not like a ton and the payments should help but I was in so much pain that like literally one night that I woke up crying like it was so bad but to not I don't I'm not trying to scare y'all I'm just sharing my story but if you're like normal <laughs> it won't hurt that bad but anyways so just kind of like to wrap it up my biggest things are make sure that you take your pain medication on time I kept my they when they um they gave me hydrocodone and then they told me to take ibuprofen and Benadryl I'm not saying to do this this is what my doctor told me to do always check with your doctor but I would take like the Benadryl and the ibuprofen every six hours and the hydrocodone every four hours and that's the only thing that kept me pain-free 
I basically did not walk around. I laid in bed the whole time. I took it really, really easy for like the first week. And I'd suggest take, making sure that you take enough time to really rest. Um, the ER thing, not normal. That is a POTS thing, but if you do have POTS, there is a possibility that you're going to have issues like I did. Surgery really does affect your heart really bad. Like, uh, he told me, he was like, anytime you get a surgery, this is a good chance. My cardiologist told me this. Um, there's a good chance your POTS is going to act up. That's just how it goes. So anyways, um, I, it was not a good experience for me, but I feel like if it didn't have a sinus infection, it wouldn't have been that bad. I will say I am still having, like, my right side of my nose is still tender, and I am two and a half weeks post-op. No, I, Tuesday will be three weeks, and I'm still having some tenderness, but it can take four to six weeks to actually heal completely, so... I don't know it just hurts a little bit but overall I am doing well I definitely can breathe out of my nose better when my allergies aren't really bad um and yeah I think that's about it oh and if your doctor tells you to do the saline rinse stay on top of that I did mine four times a day and that actually relieved some of the pain I guess because it wasn't like dry up in my nose and I think that's it. Um, I wish I would have done this ending a little sooner so I could like remember more like but I mean there really wasn't much to it because mine was so abnormal but there are a lot of normal um, like septoplasty videos on YouTube so always go check those out too but if you're like me and you're kind of oh and I don't know if I told y'all he said that we're thinking I either picked up something when I went to the ER or I kind of had a sinus infection just like lurking around in my nose like just waiting for the right time to come out and from the surgery it really just kind of like infested itself but yeah so anyways I know it was a little bit different experience but I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful especially if you are chronically ill like I am maybe this will give you some insight what it's like to get this type of surgery done anyways I will see you on my next video bye friends